Under Secretary Lyon, when did you become aware of the severe financial distress of Silicon Valley Bank? Um, Chairman Date and Henry, time would we, be helpful. We became aware. Um, when did you of, become aware? I'm going to you. I became aware of issues at Silicon Valley Bank on Wednesday or Thursday. Wednesday or Thursday. Yes. I would like to have a written uh, response to when you became aware. You can search your email, that'd be helpful. Vice Chair Barr, when did you become aware? Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, on when did you become aware of SBB's yes, sorry, financial I distress? Uh, I, I was going to answer that Thursday morning I received uh, an email from staff indicating that Wednesday evening the bank had difficulty. Thursday morning. When did you become aware, Vice uh, Chairman? Um, I believe it was Thursday evening. Staff came into a meeting I was at. Uh, Thursday the evening yeah. for Silicon Valley Bank. Okay. Along those lines, and you had a staff presentation in February uh, that included Silicon Valley Bank and the distress because of uh, rising interest rates on their portfolio. What did you do between that February staff presentation to you and the week of March 6th about Silicon Valley Bank? Uh, staff uh, presented on the interest rate risk. Of yes, that's what I said. That was a February presentation. What did you do as vice chair of supervision between that time and the bank, uh, the week of the bank failure? Staff indicated that they were completing their review uh, of the bank and of this broader horizontal review at that time, and I was waiting for the results of that review. Did, were you aware of Silicon Valley Bank raising capital the week of March 6th? I, I believe I became aware of that in this email that I described to you. On Thursday, Thursday morning, morning. That they had successfessfully raised the capital, but they had dis they, were, they were facing financial distress. I, I was not aware um, Thursday morning that there were deposit outflows. I was trying to finish the answer to that question. I was aware of, of the difficulty Wednesday night in raising capital, but the bank was reporting to supervisors Thursday morning that deposits were stable. When did you so, become aware of the deposit flows? At on Thursday. Thur Thursday afternoon, late afternoon, I became aware of deposit flows and Thursday evening that there was essentially a bank run. So uh, Thursday afternoon, which could be mid-morning in California? Is that what um, you're suggesting? I, I believe it was around noon in California and for me around 3 o'clock. Okay. On the, on and the did East you make provision for the discount window or pledgeable assets at that time you heard of their distress? My, my understanding from the staff is they were in discussions with the bank itself beginning Thursday afternoon to try and move pledgeable collateral over to the discount window. That work continued Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening, and actually overnight. Did you make provision to keep the discount window open so they could provision collateral to avoid a bank collapse? The, the discount window um, uh, uh, opening decision is, is sort of like a standard thing. It, it normally closes. A standard thing, down. except in a moment of crisis, it can be kept open. I think the vice chair for supervision should be able to make that phone call. Did you provision for that? Uh, uh, or did you Chairman, think you needed a provision for that? Mr. Chairman, at, at the time, my understanding was that the, the difficulty wasn't sending funds. The difficulty was actually getting the collateral uh, evaluating the collateral and getting it pledged to the discount window. And staff were working with Silicon Valley Bank basically all afternoon and evening and, and through the morning the next day to pledge as much collateral as humanly possible to the discount. So on Friday morning, Vice Chair, uh, Chair Grunberg, uh, you were appointed receiver. When did you become aware that FDIC was going to have to take this measure or was going to receive this bank? I think when we were informed Thursday evening. I mean you. Were you yeah, informed Thursday evening? I was informed evening? Thursday evening by staff. That Which meant you had Friday morning conference calls to make a decision. Was that part I, of it? I, I think we were, I mean, uh, I think we knew Thursday evening that the bank was going to fail and that we needed to make provision to take over the institution. Did you pick um, up the phone and call the vice chair of supervision at the Fed and say, how can we provision to keep this institution open for a Friday? I can't recall that. I, my, my recollection is, Mr. Chairman, that the institution was experiencing a liquidity failure and that the it was going to fail. And it was going to fail on Friday open or Friday evening? Were you provisioning for this for the weekend decision? No, for, no I think the expectation and the, and their uh, experience was that the institution was going to be closed in the morning. At what point did you open a, an auction for Silicon Valley Bank? On uh, Friday? 
I believe it was Sunday afternoon. We just Sunday afternoon, you opened for auction. So that weekend, what happened on, we only heard the announcement of Congress receiving this information at 1120 on Friday morning. There was an idiosyncratic bank. And Sunday afternoon was the next pronouncement from any of you three on the panel. And it was a systemic risk designation. That's what shook the market for the last two weeks. That's the reason why we've had these extraordinary interventions in the financial system. 